Adulting Couples. Welcome wow. back sa aming channel Adulting Together. Now, uh, for this video, it's going to be part 2 naman of our uh, top lessons we learned from doing business. So, <laughs> yung part 1 last time ay ako. So, my lessons were um, material things don't make you rich. It's not about you and be generous. So, in this video, si Jello naman na mag-share ng top 3 lessons there from doing business. So, we hope that um, for all those uh, millennials also doing businesses, so uh, you, you learn something from our learnings also. And kung may ma-apply kayo, then we'd, we'll really appreciate kung may nakuha kayo sa aming video. First lesson. Okay. Uh, first lesson is... For me, is number one when you're going to a business talaga. Uh, ito marami na ako narinig talaga. Marami na ako nakita na they go to a business then they fail talaga. So, mm. number one talaga is I think for me is to start small. Number one. Start small. Kasi eventually, lalo pag bago ka, so narinig lang sa mga OFWs, talagang they, they go here in the Philippines na na meron to a lot of chunk of money na big capital then they go to invest sa mga ayun nga water filling they go to invest sa mga real estate agad so parang ang laki agad or franchising ng mga ang lalaki so parang then eventually one year then minsan nga two years lang wala na mm -hmm. as in talagang nag-close so asan na yung investment mo from, from there so talagang uh, what, what I realize is you need to start small so start small so parang you need to go Yeah, something service lang muna or something sang kamagaling sang ano yung pwede mong i-offer na maliit lang muna pero that eventually maliit lang pero you're going to have a dream na palakihin siya so ganun siya start small but you're going to dream big on doing that business so, so gano'ng kaliit ang gano'ng kaliit ang small yeah. kasi like for example hmm. kung marami ka namang pera marami ka na ipon then parang ang small sa'yo is 1 million Nah, no, yeah, oh. diba? So, well, so parang how anong baka merong kahit generic na basihan na okay. gaano ka small so, or small something ba na walang capital yeah. or so, gaano tayo, ka small? Doon tayo, doon yung i-address natin yung, yung mga wala, yung mga maliliit lang. Kasi yun yung majority. So yung mga meron talaga, they're, they're blessed to meron kang parents na may capital na pwede kang mm -hmm. payroon sa'yo mm -hmm. or meron kang mga pwede kang utangan or loans na gano'n. Eh, pero yung paano yung mga maliliit na gusto mag-business talaga. So let's say parang ano, I would like, uh, meron akong something 5,000 pesos lang, meron ako gano'n. Yung maliit lang talaga sila pero gusto kong magsimula. So kung meron kong 5,000, pwede ka ano, you can, kung, you can start barbecue, ganyan, ah, you can do... Okay. Uh, yung mga maliliit na pwede ka magtinda sa halo-halo. So, eventually, kasi ang, ang point ko lang dito, if you're going to start small, you will fail eventually. Mm -hmm. So, fail agad. Kasi yung learning na makukuha mo do, doing those business, yun yung dadalin mo eh. So, kasi na, pag na-fail ka, matututo ka, then dadalin mo to sa susunod ng mga ventures. And, and, and ngayon, alam mo na kung paano mo siya papatakbuhin. Mm -hmm. Alam mo na yung mga risk factors, alam mo na yung kung ano yung investment na, ano yung kapalit ng investment mo, or yung kailangan mo mga taong Uh, i-handle o i-manage. So, marami kasi siyang factors. So, sabi nga nila, ang business daw talaga is meron siyang learning curve. Oh, so, hindi malaki yung lugi, pero yung learning mo, nakuha mo agad. Next lesson is uh, if you're going to start small, ang susunod ko kasi is uh, find, marami kasi ang number one ang tanong ng tao, ano ba yung business na uso ngayon? Ano ba yung business na pwedeng pasukan? Dapat first, you need to ask yourself What is mm -hmm. the what is the business that is suited for me? So then, dapat yung mga tanungin mo. Ano ba yung business na pwede sa akin? Huwag kang magtatanong ng outside external agent kasi talagang makikita mo ano yung uso, mm -hmm. grab or franchise or kiosk, mga ganun. So marami siya. So talagang ma-maintain ka na gawin 'yon. Pero kung kung hindi siya bagay sa iyo, hindi siya suit sa yung personality at first, hindi siya mag-work eventually. So kaya ang maganda, ask yourself, ano yung business sa akin na pwede kong gamitin? Parang katulad, mo malalaman. Uh, so katulad ng wife ko, ito, ito I've, seen, I've seen this sa wife ko. Eh. So parang we're doing our business na, na nag-start sa kanyang consultancy. Consultancy. Uh, <laughs> ito, 
consultant sa marketing. So, yun yung ginagawa niya for two years na, di ba? So, so before we... Ito talaga eh. Ah, ah, ito yung example. So, uh, magaling kasi siya doon. <laughs> Pagaling talaga siya sa marketing. So, 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 meron siya isang company na meron siyang day job na bakit hindi niya gawing side hustle doing other clients? So, kasi doon ka magaling eh. Eventually, natural sa kanya yun eh. So, bakit hindi mo siya gawing business? Kasi kapag, if you offer that, people will line up, will, will listen to you actually. So, ganun. So, yun sinasabi ko na ano ba yung business na pwede sa So, pwede ka magsimula sa ganun. So, kung magaling ka magluto, di ba? Pwede kang mag-start, mag- Parang Tinda. pwedeng hobby or yes. talent mm -hmm. or ganyan. Uh, kasi there's a lot of, mas malaki yung chance na magiging successful ka doon. Kasi uh, you love what you're doing eh. Gusto mo siya. Kaya baking. Diba? We have this uh, client ngayon na marunong sila mag-bake. So they started a bakery. You know? Kasi, kasi doon siya magaling. He loves what she's doing eh. So ngayon, may mga client yung bumibili doon sa kanila. Kasi mas sarap yung ginagawa niya. So diba? Yun yung sinasabi ko na, na Doon ka muna tumingin sa sarili mo. There's a lot of it. So, I just want to make Marami, it simple like, pero lang. Pero mga mahilig sa, bawa, sa nails, or sa makeup, or sa... Siyempre, sy girls, yeah. example ko. Uh -huh. Pero nakong pinsan na magaling siya mag-nail art. You know? Tapos, mer parang meron din akong friend na magaling siya sa hair. Yung nagagawa niya yung mga iba-ibang hairstyle. Mm -hmm. So, tapos meron namang magaling mag-makeup. Meron magaling sa fashion. Ganyan. So, parang... We can, parang ano, uh, we can monetize our, parang feeling, feeling natin hobbies lang, pero pwede natin siya pagkakitaan pala, ganyan. So, ayun, hobbies or, or talents and yes. skills. If, if, if you summarize itong sa itong pangalawang uh, lesson ko, is about passion. Because parang, don't, saan ka, ano yung passionate ka about? So, doon ka mag-start to look what kind of business that you want. Parang to, siya, passionate siya magsalita. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so, gawin na natin business. Pasyon na siya. Ah, so, so, kasi kaya nag-vlog tayo eh. Kaya, ah. siya, kaya kami nag-vlog kasi madal-dal siya. Ah. <laughs> Hindi yeah. niya kayo pero... Yeah, like ay, that. If you're... Yeah, madal-dal ka, you can, you can use that. Eh. You can Speaking, oh, facilitating. You can monetize okay. it. Ang third lesson na gusto namin i-share, gusto kong i-share talaga, is in about in sa managing kasi ng in your business. Ako kasi yung more on sa managing side or administrative ng ginagawa sa business namin. Mo, ang wife ko more on the operations side. So, ganun. So, ang what I learned from this months, from this past months, is you really need to set aside something from your business for emergency or safety. So, kasi it's really, it's really important na meron kang tinatago or your allocations from your business. Kasi kung di, kung di mo gagawin yun, mauubos mo siya or dahil of your ex expenses, ganyan, of your daily expenses, may mga, may darating may mga unforeseen between you. Lalo pa nagsisimula kayo. Sa mga nagsisimula ito ah. Oo, kasi kaya ako sinishare. Kasi pa nagsisimula ka, dapat sa simula pa lang, you set aside something, 10%, 20% of emergency fund from your or business. Fund, uh, from your business. Kasi it will really protect you from a lot of unforeseen uh, instances, di ba? Kunyari, umalis yung uh, um, uh, isang um, staff mo nag-resign, so wala kang anong kailangan mo, so you need to help, you need to find someone, again, na mas mahal. Or, meron kang uh, mga loans na biglang kailangan mo mag-loans sa bayaran. Or, abono, ganyan. Yes, o, kailangan mo mag-abono. Meron kang kailangan mag-abono. So, so di ba, parang kapag business, hindi naman, kapag employed ka, 15, 30, sure ka eh. Mm -hmm. Pero pag business, so, lalo na sa amin, B2B or kahit sa B2C, hindi mo alam kung may months na lean, hindi mo alam kung kailan yung months na parang bababa yung beta mo or yung yeah. collection mo. So, it's not 100% predictable. So, minsan may mga madedelay na clients. Ganun talaga kasi business din sila yes. So, uh -huh. it's possible na may hinihintay lang din silang collection. Ganyan. So, maraming pwede mayari. Kaya, pa, ang ang, ang, ang learning din namin ay agree na we set aside. Sa opisa, hindi naman sobrang laki yan agad. Pero, mm -hmm. learn to set aside unti-unti for unforeseen circumstances. Since hindi na nga tayo 15.30. Yeah. Oo. So, alam naman natin meron tayong daily expense or operational expense sa business kung binabayaran monthly. Ngayon, pero always remember lang, be aware na kailangan nyo set, set aside something. Kahit 10%, magsimula sa 10%, kung maliit lang talaga muna yung, ano, yung wala pa kayong profit pa. Kasi, it really will help you eh, dun sa mga unforeseen lang. May, may nagkasakit. 
'di ba? So kailangan mong maglabas, mag-shell out ng pera na wala doon sa exper- sa operational expense niyo. So saan mo kukunin 'yon? May aksidente. Ganyan. So parang it will really protect you with. So sa ano sa nagsisimula to ah. Ito yung less to talaga yung parang may lesson sa amin tong talagang ah kailangan pala namin gawin to lagi. So okay. So that's it. Uh, so that's the three lessons. So first is start small. Number two, ask yourself what is my passion in doing? What kind saan of business? Saan ka magaling? Oh, oh saan ka magaling? You know, yan ang number two. Mm. Number three, set aside at least 10% or what we call emergency fund in your business. So, mm. I think it's pra- practical lang ito. Ah, lalo pa nag-i-start ka. Kasi mm. medyo it will guide you eh, doon para maging successful. Okay? So, okay. So, galing. Okay. So, okay. thank you. So, meron lang akong isi-share. Ah, mabilis lang. Ah, parang bonus lang ito sa tatlo. you're going to have your business, uh, always make it unique. Uh, unique, di ba? Sa marketing, di ba? Katulad sa, uh, sa, sa consultation ng wife ko doon sa mga nagpapakonsult sa kanya about marketing. Ang talagang number one in your brand, in your product is kailangan meron kang USP. Unique selling proposition. Or Ooh, ano yung tinatawag big na? Big word. Uh, oh, big word, <laughs> USP. So, ano yung meron ka na wala doon sa iba? Sa dami ng comp- competitors mo sa service mo ngayon, Paano ka magi stand out? Yeah. It's bonus lang, tip lang yan, medyo technical siya so. Thank you Lodi Jello. Ah, so kung, <laughs> kung gusto niyo pa ng mas maraming tips, so you can PM us. Pero baka may bayad na, no. <laughs> ah, okay. so. So, thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you so, we hope meron kayong natutunan sa amin. Yes, thank you. Um, we hope you would subscribe to our channel Adulting Together. And follow us on Instagram and Facebook also, Adulting Together, for more adulting tips. So, hindi naman laging super <laughs> formal yeah. na ganito ang tips. Mm-hmm. So, misan kwentuhan lang, misan challenges, all uh-huh. about adulting and also adulting as a couple, kaya adulting together. So, for all the young couples, engaged couples, young, un- un- newly married, etc. So, yeah. let's do adulting together, di ba? Yeah. So, thank you very much. Comment and subscribe and ring the bell button and for notifications. So, thank you so much and we'll see you on our next video. <laughs> Bye!